Hey, remember when I said that the last video, I didn't really have much to say with Fortnite. And I didn't know when it was going to be. Well, I guess one day goes by and I'm like, yeah, I've got something to talk about now. So what's up, guys? What's going on? My name is iTalk. And in today's video, we have a brand new video. And in today's video, we're talking about Fortnite with a new update that we're getting on May 3rd, not the 4th, May 3rd. But it makes sense as to why it's happening on that day. We are getting probably the biggest update when it comes to a Star Wars Day event. Fortnite has been really crazy with Star Wars stuff. We've had lightsabers and BR. There was even one year where we just got nothing for it. Like, they're kind of on and off with Star Wars. But this year, this is probably the biggest and craziest they're going with a Star Wars event. There's a lot to go into here, and I'm honestly not going to be talking about all of it, as I will leave a link to the news post down in the description. But it's been revealed that we're getting a mini pass again. It's the Rebel Adventure Pass, and this is primarily focused on LEGO Fortnite. And for 1400 V-Bucks, if you buy the premium pass, you get quite a bit of stuff. You get a bunch of decor, a bunch of buildings and stuff like that. And you also get the Chewbacca skin instantly when you do buy this pass. Now, there are some complaints with this. And I understand where it's coming from. I mean, trust me, I'm one of the biggest complainers on this game right now. So I totally understand why people are complaining about this. The most I'm seeing about this is that this is yet again another mini pass in a season. Like, does Fortnite think we're made of money or something like that? It's not worth the price. This should be in Fortnite Crew. All this, I feel as though, has some weight to it. I really do. Uh, to me personally, though, I do think that this is worth it. And I, I will say why. It's because the Chewbacca skin would probably be 1,200, 1,500 V-Bucks probably with a back bling, right? And you're getting all this cool Lego stuff that you can use permanently. This is one of the cool things with this update is that most times when we get a Star Wars Day event, it's not permanent. Like, it goes away because of copyright, I guess. So, what's cool with this is that you actually get to keep everything here. You actually get to keep all these builds and some of them look really darn cool. But yeah, it comes with a price tag. You need to actually pay 1400 V-Bucks if you want the best buildings. There is one big build that you do get at the end of the pass for free. But if you want everything, it's 1400 V-Bucks. If you like the Chewbacca skin, this is a steal. This is a steal of a deal to buy the pass, to get the skin, and then just play the game and you'll get some cool stuff for LEGO Fortnite. But if you're not into LEGO Fortnite, I'd understand why people would be upset with this sort of pass. Because you're not going to use any of this. You're only going to use the Chewbacca skin. But once again, I do have to reiterate, I think that this is a solid deal. I really do. Like, what you get out of this might not be for you. But the skin itself, I think, is worth the price at least $1,200. And it's worth $14. Okay, so then it's $200 extra V-Bucks. I think this is a steal. I genuinely do think that. And this is coming from someone that likes playing LEGO Fortnite for like the first week of a new season just to grind out some levels and then not touch it again until next season. I think this is cool. And I'm not even a Star Wars guy. As I've said many times before, I don't like Star Wars. I find it mad boring. But at least with this, there's some cool stuff that you get with this. And it's a lot better than spending 800 V-Bucks for some decor items in the item shop. You get a whole bunch of stuff for just 1400 V-Bucks. I think it's a good deal. I will say though, yeah, I think this would be cool if you just got this in Fortnite Crew. Like, how many times are we going to be getting these mini passes? The last thing Fortnite players want is to be feel like they're getting nickeled and dimed out of everything. And while, again, I do think that, like, the Avatar Pass, I think, was worth it. I thought last year's Star Wars Pass was worth it. And you know what? That That's the thing of contention, too, is that last mini pass with the Star Wars stuff, it was better value. I still think this is a good deal, though. I'm seeing people say, oh, they're increasing the price of skins. Here's proof of it. I don't think this is proof of it. Again, I think this is a good deal. Even if you just want the skin, I think it's a good deal. And I know that might be the unpopular opinion here, but I genuinely do think that there's nothing really wrong with this. The the, the problem I have with it is that it's, it's overwhelming with how much of these passes they're giving us. And it's it sucks because it's obviously something to get people to play the game. And we already have the battle pass. Why are you stacking more of these mini passes? It feels as though like they're trying to ensure to their shareholders. They're like, hey guys, yeah, they're playing our game. Look, see, now give us money. That's sort of like my sort of, you know, cynic mind at play. Because, you know, I'm looking at Battle Royale numbers. They weren't as good as OG. But I do feel like these passes are here to help uh, people progress through the game. But you also got to remember, we have a festival pass for Fortnite Festival. We have a battle pass for BR. 
Now there's a Lego pass for Lego, and there's rumors, not necessarily rumors, but they actually did mention that there will be a Rocket Racing Pass 2. This is way too much. If you're not expected to pay full price to just buy every tier right off the bat to get everything so you don't miss out on anything, they are expecting a lot from the player base to play the game as much as humanly possible. And I thought that they were already kind of doing that already with the normal battle pass that was keeping people engaged. But now it's like festival pass. Here you go. Lego Fortnite pass. Here you go. And it's, it's a lot. It's very overwhelming. And I think to the main core part of the player base, they don't have time for this. They really don't have time for this. And even if they did, I feel like kind of coercing them into it like this is kind of eh. I don't know. I know no one is really going to like this pass mostly because they don't want to pay money for the kits. I get it. But at the same time, like I said, I think this is worth it. I just think we're getting too many things, man. I think we're getting way too many player retention cosmetic passes to keep people playing the game. Now, this might just be the cynic in me, but I feel as though with all these concurrent battle passes that we keep getting in the middle of a season, like with the Avatar stuff and now with this, I almost feel like they're doing this because they don't have faith in their player base to keep playing the game as much and this is a cheap and easy way for them to get retention this is just a cynic in my brain i don't want to be rude to the people over at epic games i really don't but it just kind of comes off that way i feel as though with all of this stuff coming out it's almost a scream for like hey please play our game here buy this pass that is good it's good value but please play our game I'm, I'm noticing some desperation here. I've seen the numbers for BR. It's not as good as it was with OG. And I don't think it ever will be until we get OG again. Or like the first few days of a new season. This season has been very bizarre, to say the least. It's been crazy with them removing core mythics to the game. Bringing them back now with going to be like lightsabers and stuff like that. It's going to be a nuts update. And people are just overwhelmed at this point with everything that we're getting with the game. I was overwhelmed in the beginning of chapter 5 when we got the three new modes. Now it's like, hey, here's a mini pass for every single mode, essentially. It's a lot to take in. What do you guys think about it? That is it for the video today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, let me know with a like. Comment down below. What did you think about the video? Subscribe to the channel if you're brand new. Use code ITALK in the Fortnite item shop if you'd like to support me. Hashtag EpicPartner. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will catch you all later. See ya.